Hey, it says what? Thanks for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate all of you who stop by my channel, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, or just enjoy my videos. In my last video, I unboxed what to me is a small bag. That is this beautiful Dooney and Burke Hydrangea Hobo. It has a um, black background. I got it at Dillard's for a really great price. And um, really quickly, this bag is seven inches high. It's four and a half wide and it is 11.75 long and I know, oh, and it has an 11.5 shoulder drop. I know as handbags go, um, this is, might be considered a large bag for some people, but um, yeah, in my book, this is maybe on the larger side of small, <laughs> but um, I think we need to take a closer look at this. This is a bag I would consider on the medium side of large. It's the Dooney and Burke Large Barlow. This is an Espresso Tomorrow Brown, and it has lizard embossing. This bag is 10.25 inches high. It's six inches wide, and it's 12.5 long. It has a five inch handle drop, and the strap can go up to 18 inches. I have it on the short shoulder. So typically what gets to me, I guess you could say about um, smaller bags is I don't like feeling my things are all crammed together. If I carry too small a bag, starts to feel like everything's jammed in there but I'll show you what I'm carrying and I don't know if it's the fairly wide bottom or depth in this hobo or what but I didn't feel that way despite this bag is pretty well packed so I just have this scented sachet that I got from Amazon. I just have it and the silica packs in the front pocket, but I have the matching Dooney and Burke card case in the hydrangea print in here. I have my favorite wallet of all time. It's the Dooney and Burke Slim wallet. Um, I just have three cards in it and a little bit of cash. Um, I just got it because I like this wallet a lot. And while it's not a perfect match for the green, I thought it complemented it nicely. Then I have this, the sack um, crocheted pouch. It has a cute little medallion on there and in here I just have um, some lip products, some pain reliever, blotting sheets, a mirror, just the stuff I normally carry when I leave the house and This matched nicely with the kind of the bluish flowers that are on the back of the bag. And I had a few masks 
in there. Add some tissue. I had a reusable Ziploc that had an extra mask. And then a reusable Ziploc that has my hand sanitizer, breath spray, a pen, um, things like that. What I didn't have in it, what couldn't fit, is my Moleskina um, day per page notebook that is really cute that I like to carry. But I might be able to fit one of these very small notebooks in there. So that's all that was in here. But let me show you how those same things look in this larger bag. So I put my masks in the front pocket. Um, this Barlow bag, if you're not familiar with it, has three sections, two shorter pockets on the front and the back, and then a large center compartment. So I just have the tissues in the back pocket. That's probably also where I would put my keys. When I carried this bag, I put my keys in the front pocket. And then I have my pouch, wallet, card case, the two reusable pouches. Oh, and my notebook in there. And I don't know, there's something that I prefer to just be able to look in and see everything. I like that things are kind of rattling around inside there, even though I'm not carrying a whole lot. So that would be more like my typical carry nowadays. But I really did enjoy carrying this bag and I do love the size. It's kind of perfect, which surprised me a little bit. But I just thought I would take a deeper dive into why I generally like larger bags, but I'm finding I'm enjoying this smaller bag. So that's it, you guys. So that's it. I really appreciate you watching my videos, leaving me a comment or a like, or subscribing to my channel. Um, I enjoy making these videos and I have fun editing them. But the most uh, satisfying part about them is interacting with all of you. So thank you for that. Take care, everyone. I think we need to take a closer look at this. I think we need to take a closer look at this. We need to take a closer look at this.